All right, today's daily rehabilitation is a small one, but it's an important one. And it's about going from a two-arm suspension trainer row to a one-arm, and we're gonna show you how to graduate from two-arm to one-arm. Sounds easy, but there's a little trick on the way. And I'm gonna show you what you should be doing with your shoulder blade as you row as well, which is a bonus. So when you're doing a row with a TRX or any suspension trainer like that, Obviously, the shorter the straps, the easier it's going to be. Okay, the longer the straps, the further down on the ground you're going to go. Now, I wouldn't start way down here, make it too difficult for yourself, especially if you're not very good with your scapular position. So if you want to start off, go high. There is less load, but make sure you get your scapular position right when you row first. Of course, it's going to be easy here, and it's going to be harder back here. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're doing a two-arm row is make sure your shoulder blades go first, Okay, so there is a traction first, and then the pull through. And as you pull through though, keep retracting to get a full retraction here. Now on the way back, don't just let the shoulders go forward. So go from staying in retraction for a longer period of time until your arms are just about straight, and then you start releasing. So when your arms are fully straight, you're there, but you're not dropped here, okay? So two arm rows should be pretty easy. Now a lot of you will be doing full on body rows, which is right down the ground almost sort of horizontal, doing that supine body row. Now that's fine, but if you want to go to one arm, what I suggest you do is you go, one of the straps, of course, you just let that other one go, and what you do is you go eccentrically on the way down and concentrically on the way up. So for this one, you go as much angle as you can handle on the way down and control that movement. And what you're trying to do is control that shoulder blade staying backwards. And then when you get that arm almost straight, then you can let it go without rolling. And what I would do then is then pull yourself up with two. So it's down with one, up with two, if that makes sense. What that allows you to do without straining your shoulder. Now remember, if you've gone from a shoulder injury or shoulder surgery or some sort of problem you have with your shoulder, you may find one arm rose is just far too hard for you. But to get that single arm strength over your other arm, then you aim for trying to go down with one. So, so with, from this point here, I'm keeping my shoulder blade back. Keep it back, keep it back, keep it back. Let that arm go forward, keep it back. Have that arm ready, if in case you need it. And then let your shoulder blade go into that protraction. And then instead of pulling up here and straining, you then pull up with two. So it's that same eccentric type scenario where you're easy on the way up, hard on the way down. Because effectively what you're trying to do is train that ability to hold on and get the strength first in that single arm. Then once you do that, you graduate a little bit. I wouldn't just go straight to a single arm row like this. Because most people when they do that, haven't got the strength pulling up. So when they come down, they'll do this, they'll, they'll come up like that. And that's what you don't want. You don't want that upper trap loading up and giving you problems there. So what you do is you just graduate the eccentric part. So from here, you're coming down normal, and then you hardly pull on the way up. And it might be 50% on this hand, it might be 25%, depends on your load. Also depends on how far down you are, okay? So if you're further forward, of course, you're gonna be lower, then you've got, and this, uh, this is longer through here, all right? So if I make that longer, I can come down further, it's gonna be more load down here, okay? So I might need more here. So it all depends on how far down you are, how strong you are, and how much through your rehab you are. So at that point there, I might get 25% pull through there, and then of course, 100% on the way down all the time. And as I get better, I might go like 10%. And eventually when you get the control right and you're not compensating through here, you come from here and then it's a full one arm row. Make sure though, you don't fall into the habit of, if you watch me now, I'm fine here. And then if I go from here, I bear my elbow at that point. So don't do that. Make sure it's still row first, then elbow second, okay? Don't forget that one. Hope that helps. See you next time.